Good afternoon and welcome to these Texan Sports Report. I'm your host, Tyler McDonough, joined by my co-host, Drew Ivory. Not as many sports to talk about this week as a few sports are starting to get out of action. Uh, some of the fall sports are starting to come to a close, but uh, Drew, go ahead and kick us off the football. Man, not the most exciting football news this week as they drop down to number 18 in the eight AVCA coaches poll. The Lions do after falling to the Tarleton Texans at home 47 to 21 after a brutal loss. Although, they did bring home a weekly award. Reggie Kincaid brought home the co-special teams player of the week after returning a 100-yard kick return in the game. That's only the fifth time in Lion history that that has been done. But, I mean, that's really the only highlight from this weekend. They had a brutal loss, have had a lot of trouble stopping the rush this year. Yeah. Been a good been a good secondary and good passing defense, but the rush has really given them problems. Yeah, you know that you know, with the loss, they're not completely out of it yet. The Lions are still hovering around the 8-9 range in the regional rankings. The regional rankings have not come out yet, but when they do come out here in a couple weeks, I would expect the Lions to probably be around that 9-10 range. Somewhere, um, yeah. Top seven, make the playoffs, obviously. So uh, the Lions probably do need to win out. Um, they've definitely. Got some, definitely, they're the favorite in all four games left in the season. Uh, West Texas will be a little bit of a challenge. Angelo's right. not a slump either. Uh, they go to West Texas, or excuse me, Western New Mexico this week. They should win that, but... Uh, they're not completely out of it. The regional rankings will come out, and we'll see how they are. But uh, they, and the regional teams ahead of them right now do. Some of them still have to play each other, so they've got right. they've got that going for them. As a couple of those regional teams ahead of them still have to play each other, so uh, they can beat each other up a little mm -hmm. bit. That'll help the, the the rankings out a little bit. So Lions are hoping for a little bit of uh, help in front of them, but uh, they I would I wouldn't expect they're not probably not in the top seven as of right, right now. So, but. Uh, but in, in the worst, they'll still get out of bowl game regardless of yeah. it. So they'll, they'll be some kind of success this season, no matter if it's repeating as national champions or not. It's still a good football team, but a lot of teams got a lot better this yeah, year. Yeah, And every year, you know, there's a couple teams in there with two losses that make it in. So right. maybe we're one of those teams this year. So. Sure hope so. The Lions soccer team won their pass game on Sunday against UT Permian Basin 2-0. Leslie Campanzano and Sabrina Mungia both scored for the Lions. Uh, uh, Sabrina scored her sixth goal of the year. She now leads the Lions in goals scored. Uh, she's played really well all year. She overtook Michelle Kalik, who, uh, who, was, who was leading the team in scoring. But now Sabrina leads the team with six goals. The Lions up their record to four and four in conference. Nice. Seven and five, not completely out of it. They still got some key conference games coming up. This Friday, they take on West Texas A&M at the Lions soccer field. They'll finish their last four games of the season at home. We haven't gotten to see the Lions too much this year because right. uh, um, they've been on the road a lot, but they will be at home for the last four games of the year. They really need some home support. Mm -hmm. Get on out there for the support the Lady Lions soccer team because uh, they can really finish the season strong. Right. Should be an advantage. They've been picking it up yeah. all throughout the season, so they've been getting well as the season goes along, so make sure you check that out. Yeah. Now it's time to switch gears to some volleyball action. 18 and five is the record for the Lions as they are still ranked at number 22 in the AVCA coaches poll after splitting the weekend between Tarleton and Angelo State. They lost to Tarleton but swept Angelo right after. I guess they were a little mad from that loss yeah, to Tarleton. They, they took their anger out on Angelo. Right, but Tarleton is a good team, so it, it's a tough battle. The Lions have still been battling regardless. Uh, they've been doing well this season. Shelly Shepard came home with the Offensive Player of the Week this year in the Lone Star Conference, so things are still looking up for the Lions. Yeah, they, they've got some big games. Uh, beating a Angelo lost on Friday night to Texas Women's. Oh, so and they then, had back-to-back. And, -back. Then, and then we turned around and beat Angelo on Saturday, so now the Lions are in, tied for second right now with Angelo. Right. So Tarleton's going to be tough to catch, especially if the Lions have lost both games to Tarleton this year. Mm -hmm. But they are right now, for seeding purposes, looking good. They're going to be, uh, as of right now, they would be the number two team in the in the tournament if the season right. ended today. So uh, look, things are looking real good for the Lions. They have three conference losses, mm -hmm. two to Tarleton, one Angelo, and they just defeated Angelo this past week. So. So things are looking good for them seating-wise. And also, speaking of Texas women's, we will be facing them Tuesday night in the field house. Actually, no, not in the field house. They're going to be going to Kitty McGee Arena okay. in Denton to face Texas women's. It's going to be a tough battle as they are another conference rival. Yeah. Um, we're switching over to the uh, the, the men and women's golf program. Hey. The men finished today their fall tournament season. They were in. They were at Midwestern State and they got second place. Leading the Lions was Lucas hey, McCubbin. Hey, yeah, yeah. Hey. Unfortunately, I wasn't there, but maybe you'll see me a little bit more in the right. second in the second semester. But uh, Lucas McCubbin uh, had a real strong performance today. Our, okay. Alex Welsh also uh, shot three under day, 68 today. Hey. So uh, Alex and uh, Lucas both led the Lions today in a second place finish. They did unfortunately lose to Midwestern State. Chance Craig took home those awards. Uh, he won the tournament individually for Midwestern State. The Lions finish out the fall season really well. 
The women the next week will be in uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico, October 22nd to the 23rd, as they will be going to Fort Lewis mm -hmm. to play in uh, their Invitational Tournament in Albuquerque. So mm -hmm. uh, women are closing up next week. Men are done. Uh, women have really played this, uh, really played well this fall. Uh, right. The women have really upped their game. You know, they're playing real well. Mm -hmm. Men a little bit slow start, but good finish with the second place finish. Right. So. And as for softball, there's a little news, but it's not really news. It's just an update. The game that they had going on this week is going to be canceled. So don't look out for any softball action. You'll have to wait until the second semester mm -hmm. to check out the softball team. And we'll close things up with cross country. Both men and women's cross country teams were in commerce last weekend as they competed uh, at the East Texas Invitational Shootout. Mm -hmm. uh, the Lady Lions got second place, or excuse me, the men got second place, while the girls got second. Brandy Stadler once again led the Lions, and uh, Evan Lukey, uh, Brandy got fourth, as a matter of fact, excuse me. Brandy got fourth, she led the Lions. Evan Lukey placed sixth place. He was in the lead for a little bit of the race. The, he led them to the Lions getting a strong second place finish, but uh, nice. Evan and, and Brandy, shout out to them, running well here in Commerce. All right, definitely. Yeah. You can check out all things at TMUCEastTexan.com and follow us on social media.